mucho Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing okay too. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie, how are you? Hi, I'm pretty fine. And you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thanks. How was your weekend? It was good. My case too. Good. Is it raining in your houses right now? Uh, no. No, but a few moments ago, yes, a little, a little rain. Okay. But it's stopped right now. Yeah, it's raining hard in Lourdes at this moment. Really? Wow. Uh, no, really in my house, what, like five minutes rain. That's all. Okay. Now, it's been raining <laughs> like... Um, like 15 minutes approximately. Okay. Yes. Yep. So uh, we'll see. I love the rain. It's this, one of God's greatest in nice. creation. Yeah, but not on the same. Yes, right. you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's, uh, it's a strange. Yeah, yeah. It's rare. It has been so many rain this year. Right. There's been a lot of rain, a lot of rain. Yeah. Yep. Yes. True. Yes. So, uh, mm -hmm. some somebody in this group mentioned that uh, we would have rain in December because of La Nina. I did. Oh, La you Nina. did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, let's 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 uh, whenever we're outside, we have to have umbrellas and jackets uh, ready. <laughs> You're right, teacher. Right. Okay, so let's begin. Welcome back. What is today's date? Today is Monday, uh, 13th, you 2000. Sure? No, uh, Monday. Uh, not 14th. 14th. It's December. 14th. Uh, 14, 14, sorry. 14th. <laughs> sorry. Yes. 14th. Uh, 2020. Exactly. December. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, let's begin. Uh, if you were here on Friday, do you remember the topics we discovered, uh, that we discussed? No, I couldn't make. It is whole, uh, uh, Remember that prices. when you when you are when you guys are absent, there is a link in your email where you can click, and you can access to the to the class that you missed. The video is always there, so okay. Just reminding you. Okay, so um, You're right. Let's, let's begin. We only have two more classes. Remember that we finish this coming Wednesday. Um, and we have until Wednesday to complete the platform. So keep that in mind. Yes, teacher. All right? Yes, teacher. So right now, let me assign you to work in pairs. Huh, oh, breakout rooms, okay. Create. So I will assign you to work uh, together and talk about your weekend. Okay, okay, teacher.
case, uh, really I didn't do nothing that's true. Okay, just resting at home. Uh, yeah, yes, I know, yes, with my children. Uh, okay, cool. We go out for a while and uh, in, during my children's were sleepy, I, I do the, the homeworks. Okay, that's uh, cool. That's that's true. That's that, that's what I did. I didn't do too much. What about you? Okay, well, in my case, I had the weekend off, but actually I spent all time here at home. I didn't go anywhere. On Sunday, we have uh, a couple of friends that visited us and we have lunch together. So they are very, really good friends. We have like 15 years, I think of more than 15 years to know them. So they are also a couple and we were spending some time at lunch. Yeah, pretty much that's it. I didn't do too much thing this weekend. What about you, Ovidio? Okay, for me, the, 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 the last Saturday, I I took some some rest. I, at the in the afternoon, I went to to Los Planes de Renderos to oh, cool. to to eat some pupusas. Eat some and, pupusas, yeah, pupusas. Yeah, it, um, and at night I I went to to show some lights in in the different parts. Was a one time that you uh, there wasn't any space between the word and the comma. Yes, sometimes it's a grading mistake. Okay, one mistake. Yes. Okay. Hey, hello, Janira. How are you? Hello, fine. What are you talking about? Uh, we are talking about the, the score, the oh, final yeah. score at platform. Ah, oh, okay. Did you uh, did you finish the platform? Yes, I have some problems with section two uh, about uh, the, the non-relative clauses. I think is that is that is a topic. It was difficult the, for me. In the exam, exam, fine exam. Yes. Uh, for example, when see a Florence, see a city in Bulgaria. I don't know. I I I don't remember. It was very difficult. Because you try and try and try it, and you have to try it many times. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Uh, yeah, that's right. The final exam, final test. Yeah, thanks God, I finish. I I got uh one a uh, wrong. I'm trying to. To get, I had the number three uh, wrong. I I was trying and trying and I couldn't uh, make it. Number three. Yes. Mm, let me see what's number three. I don't remember. Number three, my hometown. Hometown. That three. that is. Can you see my screen? Let me see. And... Mm -hmm. Delicious. And I, I was, um, ah, I remember. I watched a very good movie on last Saturday in Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie uh, is about a sperm man. He ha he has two girls, and the the dream of him was uh, mm -hmm. having dream dream of mm -hmm. him was uh, uh, having a, a a song, and he only had daughters four daughters, mm -hmm. and uh, 
he began to to work with the the first first daughter and uh -huh. he he got that he uh that they uh won um awards uh, uh, uh medals medals for india is, uh, in india uh, because uh, they they uh, how i say uh, no no it's like lucha libre but it's not lucha libre exactly is fight, fight uh, but they they were the first uh, girls that um participate in this kind of competition in la india uh -huh. in af after ah very well very yes, good also monday is very difficult because of yeah. traffic today i have problems a... i had problems friday to 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 come to go to chaltrapa because there was an accident in termos del rio Really? There was traffic for that for that accident. Yes, there was two two people died, and many wow. many person with lesions. Les they were or, they were hit by a car. Yes, yes, wow. it, it was a, a a very awful accident, and it was difficult to to go to Chelsea for that accident. Wow, terrible. I think people drive too fast. Uh, yes, lately. and I think that 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 area is very dangerous. I don't know yeah. because I think because it's a curva and oh. many 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 cars leads from that from that. From yes, that I, I I consider myself not drive so slow but the speed that uh, 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 a lot of cars uh, pass through uh, to me and and i i consider i'm not a uh, uh, slow driving <laughs> but but the cars uh, <laughs> pass me and pass me and i think they are driving in about uh, 100 or 100, uh, 10 uh, kilometers. So yes. they pass yes, to the right. That's the problem. Yes. Yes, that's the problem. Okay, and you, Kari, what can you tell us? Well, I have a long weekend because uh, I have vacation since uh, Thursday. So Thursday and Friday, I went from to make some shopping with my mother. It's more crowded, so we went on on that Saturday. I have a, a dinner for my one of my nephews graduate from high school, so we have a dinner, but just the family. And Sunday, I finish painting my home. Uh, okay. Be be careful because the contagious is spreading now again, uh, and the, yeah, I the know. contagious mm -hmm. are, are 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 rising again. Yeah, I saw the news today, and that's why I yes. prefer going for shopping before all the people begin to go to the store. And we were in the morning on the on the mall. And then I'm, I'm not gonna be out from now and on. <laughs> the rest of the month, I'm not planning to visit any place. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. So we almost finished the the class. <laughs> we will have a a, a long vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think it, there are three models of advance, I think, or, or or how many models we have to complete in advanced level? I think uh, 
I guess will be three. two more. Three? Okay. Yeah, three altogether. Oh, three. Two more, exactly. Oh, okay. Two more. Yep. Uh, okay. I, I, I saw that you have a, a module to prepare for TOEFL. Yes. Yes. So, so okay. you guys finish uh, this level uh, in two days and then you have two more levels to go and then you go to the TOEFL preparation course. Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. Yep. Have you ever taken the TOEFL exam? No, never. Never? Sure. No. I tried once in internet, but I failed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, uh, universities in El Salvador, they ask you to uh, pass that exam if you want to graduate. So uh, all, all universities, they ask you for a different uh, type of score. But 500 uh, points is the minimum uh, in some universities. Okay. Yep. Here in El Salvador. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so let's say um, La Universidad Matias Delgado, they ask you to pass that exam, I think. Somebody was telling me that not all the subjects, not all the careers, but some careers they ask you for it. So. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, my my daughter ha, had to make a <clears throat> admission exam uh, to 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 get in uh, the university. Okay. About uh, English exam. Oh, which university? Universidad del Valle, Guatemala. Oh. But oh. but they don't teach English. Uh -huh. uh, como una materia. Yeah, as a subject, yep. As a subject, yeah, but they made a, 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 a an mission, exam. exam, yes. Yeah, yep. So they expect you have a, a, a certain level. level. Good, yes. good, good. That's, that's, that's good, that's good in a way. So people who graduate are better prepared. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. What about you? Have you uh, been with the group since the very beginning, or? I I start in this group in uh, in intermediate. Okay, intermediate. I I started a uh, uh, very long time ago. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Did you did you um, do the annihilation test? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I think. I think. I don't know how long it's going to take that. Do you have an idea? No, I don't know. I have no, no. idea. Okay. All right, um, after the rain, the signal of the internet is a little bit slow. Yes. So I wonder if uh, mm. if the signal will recover. Anyways, uh, any questions or comments about the activities you guys did on the weekend? No, not really. No, 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 no teacher. Okay, so let's do some um, a listening questionnaire. I have four questions for you. I will dictate the questions, you copy the questions, you listen to the audio, and you answer the questions. Do you have yes, pen teacher. and paper? Yes, teacher. Yes, I have. Okay, not necessarily pen and paper because you can also do it on, in Word document. Okay, first question. Why do they need to meet next week? 
why do they need to meet next week? Second question. Yes. What is the reason they cannot meet at the study room? What is the reason they cannot meet at the study room? Question three. What's the event Monday afternoon? What's the event Monday afternoon? And question four, how would they spend half their time? How would they spend half their time? What is the first question? Why do they, Why need, do they to need to meet, meet next week? Next okay. week. Why do they need to meet? Why do they need to meet next week? Next week. Okay, that is the first question. Why do they need to meet next week? week? Yeah. Okay, what is the yes, second teacher. question? What is the reason they can meet at the study room? Good. They cannot. Meet. What is the reason they cannot meet at the study, the study room? room? Okay, what is the reason they cannot meet at the study room? Good, very good. What is number three? Who has number three? What is the event Monday afternoon? What is the event Monday afternoon? Another volunteer who wants to share number four? How will they spend half their time? Excellent. How would they spend, how would they spend half? half? Their time. their time. There you have it. How would they spend half their time? Okay, are the questions clear? Sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. the minute is a little bit longer than a minute. So uh, they speak clear. They might go a little bit fast. So if they go fast, you have to copy faster. Here we go. Share computer sound. Now, where's the audio? The audio is right here. I'm going to put everybody on mute so we don't have any interruptions. And here we go. Three, listen to a conversation between two students. I think we should meet early next week to finalize our presentation. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm free on Monday at 2. Yeah, that's good for me. Do you want me to book a study room at the library again? Hmm, I don't know. It's a nice, quiet place to get work done, but I kind of like to drink coffee while we work. Since they don't allow drinks in the study rooms, what do you think of just meeting at the student union? Um, I think there's something going on at the union Monday afternoon. What was it? Ah, you're right. They're having some sort of book fair. Yeah, that's it. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up displays and everything. I'd really like to go to that. Me too. But what about our project? Monday is really the last day we can work on it before we have to do the presentation. Well, why don't we meet at the book fair and then go to the cafeteria and make the final preparations over a coffee? Don't you think it might be pretty noisy? Nah, I get a lot of studying done in the cafeteria. Yeah, but with the book fair, there'll be lots of extra people milling around. It could be really chaotic. Just getting a coffee might mean spending half our time waiting for the cafeteria lines. How is the sound? How is the quality of the sound? 
It was good. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Pay attention and take notes. Three. Listen to a conversation between two students. I think we should meet early next week to finalize our presentation. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm free on Monday at 2. Yeah, that's good for me. Do you want me to book a study room at the library again? Hmm, I don't know. It's a nice, quiet place to get work done, but I kind of like to drink coffee while we work. Since they don't allow drinks in the study rooms, what do you think of just meeting at the student union? Um, I think there's something going on at the union Monday afternoon. What was it? Ah, you're right. They're having some sort of book fair. Yeah, that's it. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up displays and everything. I'd really like to go to that. Me too. But what about our project? Monday is really the last day we can work on it before we have to do the presentation. Well, why don't we meet at the book fair and then go to the cafeteria and make the final preparations over a coffee? Don't you think it might be pretty noisy? Nah, I get a lot of studying done in the cafeteria. Yeah, but with the book fair, there'll be lots of extra people milling around. It could be really chaotic. Just getting a coffee might mean spending half our time waiting for the cafeteria lines. All right, are you okay or do you want to hear it one last time? Uh, well, I think that it's okay. Okay, good. All right, so why do they need to meet next week? They have to, to, their to their presentation. finalize their presentation. Finalize their presentation, exactly. Now, in Spanish, we say exposición, and sometimes I hear people say, oh, let's get ready for our uh, exposition, but exposition is not the word. Uh, the right word is presentation, very good. Uh, what's the reason they cannot meet at the study room? They cannot drink coffee. They can drink coffee. Exactly. Coffee. They cannot drink coffee. Drinking coffee is not permitted. Exactly. Now, what's the event Monday afternoon? Book fair. Book fair. A book fair. A book fair. And how would they spend half their time? Making lines with the line of cafeteria. Yep. Waiting for the line. Making line. Exactly. Cafeteria. Yes. Yes, because remember, there is a book fair. There will be more people than regular. So, uh, cafeteria is going to be packed. Yep. Any questions or comments? Uh, yes, sir. I have a question. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, presentation is almost the same that slideshow? Uh, okay, a presentation is what we usually do in universities, high school or middle school. You know, things related with your studies. Exposition. Right? Presentation. 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 An exposition is usually taking place in a museum or a theater. Okay. That's a, that's a, a, a what is the word? Um, Presentation. No, the other one. Slideshow. Ah, uh, uh, mm. No, the... Exposition. Exposition, right. Yeah. Exposition. Yeah. Like Exposition. Gallery art or... Yeah, it's like a gallery, right. Now, you can also have expositions in high school or university, but it's more serious. So maybe you're explaining mm -hmm. a, a, a project or, or things like that. So that is the difference. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe you missed my last uh, word. I asked about if presentation is the same that a slideshow. A slideshow. You mean like with PowerPoint? Yes. No. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Yeah. Nowadays, when it's you have a, when you have a presentation, you know, in the past when I was a student. Mm -hmm. Everything was in cartulina or, or big, yeah. long, uh, on paper. <laughs> Nowadays, okay. cartulina, I think people don't use it anymore. And they use uh, uh, applications like, 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 like PowerPoint to present their topics. Yes. Okay. Great. Thanks. Good. 
Okay, uh, is there any other option better than PowerPoint to make presentations? You can Prezi. have... Prezi. Prezi. Prezi, Canva, and also if you are a Gmail user, you have access to uh, different tools. Okay. All right. Okay, um, any questions about the listening? No. Okay, so when you're practicing listening, you listen to music, you watch television. How do you practice yes. your speaking? When you come to class, you use the language, maybe you have someone in Facebook or in WhatsApp, the person that you practice English with. Now, how do you practice your writing? Reading. By reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. You can practice your writing by reading. Remember that reading is your preparation on how good you can write. Because yes. remember, we have the four macro skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So writing is the last one. Prior to the writing, you have reading. So the more you read, the better prepared you get. Right? Yes, teacher. Okay. So have you ever written an essay in English? Or journals in English? No. Never? Only when I prepared the essays for you <laughs> in, the, yeah, the in the last classes. The, the journals, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so writing for fun or Very writing good. for... Uh, for any reason you may have, you should be able to start um, practicing your writing as well. Because there are companies that maybe you yeah. don't speak to the client, maybe you don't speak to your supervisor, but all the information, all the interaction takes place by writing. So what aspects uh, do you think are considered to be important when it comes to writing? Orthography. Well, grammar. Orthography. Grammar. Grammar. grammar, spelling, spelling. No, spelling. Mm -hmm. yeah. what else? Uh, punctuation. Exactly, punctuation. What about vocabulary? Yeah, of course. You need to have a, a good command of vocabulary and try not to sound repetitive. When I check my students' writing, uh, one factor that I usually mention to some of them is that they repeat the same word again and again. And that's why it's it's very good that you have a variety of vocabulary. So you don't sound uh, repetitive. So let me show you the questions. Okay, can you see the questions? Yeah. Okay. Can someone take a screenshot and share it in the WhatsApp chat? Okay, I will. Please, Noe. So there are 10 questions. All of them are related with, um, with, uh, with vocabulary. Do you remember the five aspects you need to know about a word? What are those five aspects? Uh huh. By aspect. Yeah. The five things you need to know about a new word or any word. How is writing? Okay. Good. What uh, it means. Okay. Pronunciation. Okay. So. Meaning. You said meaning. Spelling. Spelling. Pronunciation. What else? We need two more. Meaning, spelling, pronunciation. Writing. Writing is included in spelling. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. In spelling. Pronunciation is there. Meaning, spelling, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. We need two more. Synonyms? Not exactly. Ha, 
has has this ever happened to you that you know the meaning of the word but you're having problems to use it uh how to use it uh the the use okay how to use the it uh, okay. uh -huh. to how use to it. use it and one more one more Part of grammar. Part of okay. grammar. Now, how many parts of grammar do we have in English? If we talk about American English, there are eight parts. Verbs, nouns, adjectives, blah, blah, blah. Eight parts. What about the British? How many parts do they have? British have nine. Nine, nine, my teacher. Yes, so American grammar has eight parts. The British grammar has nine parts. What is the difference? Who remembers? That is the difference. That word is the difference. Uh, D. How do you pronounce it? D. E? The. E or the? D or the. How do you yeah. pronounce it? Is it D or is it the? the. Or does it the? depend? Okay, let me give you an example. The music. How do you pronounce that one? The apple. The apple. The apple. The apple. And how do you pronounce the other one? The music. Uh -huh. The music. So do you say D or do you say the? The music. The. 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 It depends. 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 Or a consonant. Oh, oh. Okay, so when do you pronounce D? When you have vowel. Start with a, a vowel. Exactly. Vowel. So you use D for vowels. With vowel. The apple, okay. the eraser, the elephant. You will say the mm -hmm. for consonants. So uh, this is something that everybody should know. You say D when the next sound is a vowel, you say the when the next uh, sound is consonant. So let me ask you, ladies, do you like do you like the roses? Yes. Is, is, is yes. that question is that uh, question I, correct? Do you like roses? I like the roses. Don't need the uh -huh. uh -huh. Why not? Why yeah. not? Why not? What is the name I'm of the? What is the name of the? Article. Article. What article? What article? Demonstrate, 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 demonstrate. Uh-uh. Definite article. Definitely. Definitely. Definite. Definite. Now, what is the meaning of definite? What do you define. understand by the word definite? Uh, definite. Concrete. Exact. Concrete. And a specific use. I mean, exactly. Think... So if I say, um, Bersabe, do you like the roses? Bersabe, you said, which roses? Yes. Which mm -hmm. roses? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yes. The, the uh, roses, yeah. the roses you won in the contest. Uh, oh, those roses were beautiful. In general. No. Mm, yeah, specific. Exactly. Specific roses. What now, is, what, what, what if, I'm sorry, what if you have a, a cafeteria or something, a restaurant called uh -huh. roses? You can use the 
the sure. roses. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can use the roses. Yeah. Because it's something specific. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about a name. So, right. you know, when you talk about names, you can use anything that comes to your mind. But uh, now, so th there is a big difference between those two questions. Do you like the roses or do you like roses? Which one is general? general. Which one is general? The second one. Second one. The second one. So if, like I, so if I say, do you like roses? You know, most women will say, oh, I love roses. Now, if I say, do you like the roses? It's because we already have information about which roses uh, we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, if the person doesn't have an idea, said, which roses? What are you talking about? Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, the I British, understand. they consider a uh, definite article to be the ninth part of grammar. And I completely agree with them. Because do you like the roses? It's very different if you say, do you like roses? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's go to the speaking section. Um, we'll be, vocabulary, we'll be talking about vocabulary. So let me check this here. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Noem. Let me assign you guys to work together. Recreate, recreate. And here we go. Go, go, go. So discuss the questions related with vocabulary, please. What? Um, I I live in San Marcos. Ah, okay. At this moment, it's raining. Okay. But I I have my house in in Chalchuapa, and my mom says that in Chalchuapa was a, a strong raining. Really? Really? Yes. Always in Santana, rain. Oh, so it was. It was ah, you live in Chalchuapa. I love the. The yuca. <laughs> yeah. Asumal is nice. Oh, yeah, but the yuca is delicious. Yes. Right, right. Yes, what what part of San Marcos, San Marcos are you in, Right now in Florida. I live in Colonia, Colonia San Luis. Okay. Near from the Tribunal Supremo Electoral. Okay. All right. And where do you live? I mean, where do you work? Right now it's raining. Is it raining hard? I work in. Yes, right now it's raining hard. Okay, good. I love the rain. Yes, me too. It's you one sleep of... very. Yeah, relaxed. Very quiet. Right, right. Yes. Good, very good. Okay. Okay, let's. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Trying to talk to Versabe, but maybe she doesn't listen. Versabe, can you hear me? Yeah, she, I think she's having connection problems because she was in another group and suddenly she left the, the, the session. So yeah, she might be having connection Friday. problems. Yeah. Yeah, so if especially, you know, because of the rain we have had today, you know, that affects the signal. Could be. The signal. 
Yes, yes. Right. That's, that was exactly my problem on yeah. uh, the last Friday, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to help to improve the, the language. Yeah, okay. Do you have an impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own language? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, maybe it will be sound. Uh, <laughs> oh, if I do it about myself, if I say it about myself, maybe it sounds pretentious or something like that. But um, I try to read. Uh, normally, I always start to read a book. And I think that is a good thing to improve the vocabulary in your language. But I will, I will say the, the maybe a little bit, not too much, but I'm always trying to, to read a good book. Good. What about you? Okay. Let, me read, let, me, let me read a question. Do you have an impressive knowledge of vocabulary, of vocabulary in your own language? Uh, well, uh, impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own language. Well, in my case, to be honest with you, I that think was... that I do. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. In my case, uh, to be honest, I think that I do because I read, I, I like to read. So I know a lot of words, weird words, strange words. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's good, you know, like uh, when you read, you know, whether you want it or not, you expand your vocabulary because you come across new words like, what's the meaning of this word? And maybe you see it again and again and you learn it. That's right. Right, good, good. Well, I don't know if impressive knowledge is um the thing that i have i i read a lot um i know some stuff um when i am talking with my friends and on in my co-workers and i realize uh, that i know some stuff because they ask me about any word for example what's that they say and <laughs> i need to explain them yeah. What it, so I think sometimes I have I, I have I know some expressions or some words or something related to not common things. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, when I hear. Uh, an American or, when you hear or, or uh, but I, when I hear a, a, a gringo or American speaking in Spanish but they but he he or her can speak well Spanish I think myself the trying uh, speaking English <laughs> hmm. okay um let me see. I, I think uh, maybe I, I, when I speak English, I do as uh, they are. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, are these, are the words in English you will keep forgetting? You still keep forgetting? Yes. Mm, yes, yes. I think everybody forgets yes. words. Yes, Especially I, if you don't practice them, you know, yes, you don't I have a lot of practice. We, I think we remember the more basic words. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Um, do you separate your vocabulary list uh, into words, idioms, phrase, or practice? and to talk with other persons. Yeah, uh, 
it's like you said, you, when you are there, your ear is like get used to something. So that's why you learn more easily. Yes. Okay. The which number? Four. Four. What's the hardest thing about learning English vocabulary? Mm, I think memorizing, as you say, because um, we have to 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 memorize that word and uh, learn about how to use it and when use that word. Yeah, there are sometimes that the same word means a lot of things. Yes, for that reason, uh, teacher says that we have to learn, for example, the meaning, how mm -hmm. we spell, how to pronounce, when use the, the word, and how to use. I think there are a lot of things that we have to, to learn about a, a new word. And sometimes it's very important, uh, even intonation. Yeah. The intonation, the pronunciation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And number five. Are there words? I are there words in English we still keep forgetting? Yeah. Chapter said, "Come again, please." And I say what you know if you mm -hmm. try if you translate come again uh, literally it's like ven mm -hmm. otra vez or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when you and, and i made a research about the expression it is like if if a way to say could you please could you please repeat it i think it is okay. not so formal i think maybe the teacher can help us it is not so formal but it, but it is um. a, yeah, it's it's not it's not um, what is the word? It's not informal. Uh, but then again, the right form should be: Can you please repeat? But come again. It's an expression that people use to ask you for repetition. And like I said, it's not informal. But then again, you know, it's uh, everybody uses that expression. So come. But again. it's not it's not the slang. No, it's not slang. No, okay. it's not slang. Come again, please. Right. Come again. Yes. Okay. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's kind of rude or unpolite. At least it's like I heard, it's like a, how I heard it. Okay. And yes. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and that's why it's so important that you always have uh, magic words in your conversation. So come again, please. So when you say please, you know, like even if the person might hear a strange tone on your speech when you say please you know that changes everything so keep, keep that in mind as well okay good point good point yeah and that and that's an american expression yep yeah it's american, it's american. Okay. okay it's american yes thank you all right so like i say i english but i don't know how <laughs> good they be Okay. Are vocabulary games a good way to remember vocabulary? Yeah, like sopa de letras. <laughs> yes, or uh, in English, Scrabble, something like that. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Scrabble is a, a game mm -hmm. using words and in in in. Uh, you, you, they open uh, your mind and your knowledge when you're trying to guess what the word is. Okay, the others are coming back in 40 seconds. Okay, we're almost Right. right, yeah, so we have like two more minutes before 10 p.m. 
quick question, teacher. Uh, yes. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but I heard you say the last week that uh, we had until this coming Thursday to complete the platform, but today you say it on Wednesday. So. Yeah, it's on Wednesday because okay. we're, we're not going to have classes on Thursday. So uh, that's why we came to class last Friday to make up for, for, for Thursday. So we finished one day before, we finish on, on Wednesday. So the platform should be ready on Wednesday as well. Wednesday at okay, 12 Wednesday, midnight. midnight. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions or comments about today? No. Okay. No, teacher. Thank you very no, much teacher. for your time. Um, have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you, thank sir. You. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.